My parents always tell me, like, you're lucky you grew up here because if you grew up in Vietnam, you wouldn't have as much stuff. Everybody still rides on motorcycles there. It's still pretty dirty over there, but it's still, like, really beautiful in some spots. I go there to visit my relatives, like my grandma and grandpa, and all my cousins and uncles. When I sing my culture kind of music, it makes me feel more like uh, Vietnamese, I guess you could say. Like, feel, it makes me feel kind of more at home. <laughs> I could listen to other languages and after a while I'll like know how to sing it, but it takes a while. And for Vietnamese, I could read it, but I won't really understand what I'm singing. And that's the funny thing because my dad always laughs at me about that. Not a hero lies in you. I told him I was going to sing in the telethon. He's like, what's that? And I like explained it to him. He's like, oh, really? That's cool. It's a long road when you face the world alone. No one reaches out a hand for you to hold. I found it to be a really good experience. I got to experience like what it would be like to be in a recording studio and how it was like to like work with other artists. It was fun. I loved like being with them because they're like all really nice people. Um, who are you guys here to support? Annie! We love you, Annie. I, I just want to say out to Piner and everybody that's watching, vote for me! <laughs> Before usually I sing, I get like really nervous. Like I get jitterbugs. And then when I actually go on stage, I get like really calm. I'll get you back here with me. Winning is not everything for me. It's just enjoying what you're doing and having fun. And I don't really care about winning. It's just something I wanted to do. We're a pretty like strict family because my parents don't let me do as much. I'm always like, can I go out? They'll be like, no. And they'll always say to me like, education is like the most important thing. I wanted to play tennis this year, but they're like, they think it's gonna get in my way, so. They just want me to focus on school. At my school, we have like this program, it's called biotech, and it's like a medical program. This is my third year of biotech. I tell my daughter, you have to study now. Later on, you can get better jobs, like pharmacist or something like doctor or something. After 1975, a lot of people escaped from my country. I tried three times. When I escaped to Thailand, I live there, but I don't know where I will go. So I just get away from communists. And some of American people sponsor for me to get in here. I got a job in G&G Market. And right now, the, the company name is Jacktronics. They build the electronic parts. And right now, I still working in there for, I think, more than 22 years. I like my country because my mom's still there. My daddy and my sister, older sister, younger sister, and my younger brother, they all live there. One day when I'm older, I'm going to go there and live there for like a half a year just to see what it would be like to live there like longer than just a couple months. When I'm older, <laughs> like I want at least two kids. <laughs> and I just want like a happy, like healthy family that does good in school. <laughs> Look out for Annie Toe, a sophomore at Pina High School. She'll be singing the song, Hero. Annie, take it away. There's a hero.